I think it's quite clear. Sony won. And let me tell you why. Sony's conference was about exclusives. Games that I cannot play on any other platform. That right there is the bread and butter for a gaming system. Games that you cannot play anywhere else. That makes you, the consumer, go and purchase that console. Just look at myself, for example. The only next-gen system I have, which I use next-gen very loosely, is the Wii U. And it is over there collecting dust. Like, I don't even want to touch it unless it's with a Swiffer, okay? <laughs> and I've got a gaming PC. Now, I just bought a PS4. But do you know why? I know I said this in my last video, but I bought a PS4 because those games I can't play anywhere else but right here on the PS4. I can't play it on the Vita. I can't play it on the PS3. I can't play it on the PC. I have to have a PS4 in order to play those games. That right there solidifies my investment into their console and the potential revenue they're gonna get out of me just from purchasing that console. That's what they're looking for. You don't have that with the Xbox. The Xbox brand failed. The EZ Conference, while they did show great games, don't get me wrong, they were great games, but when it comes to exclusives, they failed. But that's where Sony excelled. Sony brought the games and they brought the exclusives. I mean, they start out with a beautiful orchestra. And then they show us some really nice footage of the new God of War game. You got old man Kratos showing his son the ropes on survival and hunting and killing. We saw some new elements added to the gameplay. And just one thing that I've seen in these games is just that, that seamless motion between cinematic and gameplay. It's what well, there's no describing what I saw by any other word than amazing. We had The Last Guardian, that's coming out October 25th, finally. Horizon, Horizon looks like a wonderful game. I can't wait to play it. I love the mechs, I love the robots that are in there, I love the whole caveman, but super technologically advanced thing going on. It's a, it's a beautiful mix. It's like, it's like, um, it's like War of the Worlds mixed with the Croods or some shit. Something like that. It's it's a really nice mixture. Uh, Detroit Become Human from the creators of Heavy Rain. That one looked good as well. Just in all these games, exclusive, 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 exclusive. I can't play those games anywhere else. Those are reasons why you need to buy a PS4 right there. They showed uh, Resident Evil 7. Now at first I thought it was Outlast, but you guys know I don't really do scary games like that and this game looked really freaking scary. I can't play it. I'm not even gonna front. I can't play it. I couldn't finish the first Outlast. Just too scary. I played it for five minutes. I, I played like what, five minutes on stream? Shut it off. Can't do it. Uh, PlayStation VR. Now this is the one thing I wasn't really too interested in. If I'm gonna get VR, I'm gonna get it on the PC. I'm gonna get the HTC, what is it? Uh, vibe or V, whatever the fuck it's called. I'm gonna get that. It's got the 3D motion controls and everything. That's cool. But the VR that's being offered by the consoles, PlayStation, Xbox, I'm not even interested. Even though Sony did show some pretty decent games, uh, I do believe that they are, there is a third party VR headset in development that should be compatible with every system that's out there, according to what I've read. So if that is possible, I might invest in that one. That way I can use it on my PC and my PS4. Uh, Farpoint VR game, Star Wars VR game, Batman Arkham VR game. There's Final Fantasy 15 VR. Uh, that's pretty much all the VR. I thought that Call of Duty was a VR game. That's why I was pretty interested in it, but I don't think it is. So it still looks like a pretty cool campaign. So I just might pick it up. I haven't played Call of Duty in like a decade. But this one actually looks pretty cool. Now, let's just talk about the VR real quick. I don't think VR is gonna pick up on the consoles. 
because number one, most of your controls on the PS3 and the Xbox One, and Xbox 360, they've never picked up. They have never picked up and just taken off. I know that Dan Central is pretty popular, but most of the controls on consoles have pretty much failed besides the, the original Wii. And I believe that this is already a very niche market on the PC. I mean, it's popular on the PC, but it's still not very huge. Not everyone is running out grabbing a, an HTC headset. Not everyone out there has gone out and grabbed an Oculus. And there's still not a ton of really great games that I've seen on the PC that are going to interest me, you know, thus far. But I'm sure there will be some in the future. But I don't think it's really a good idea for Sony or Microsoft to invest in VR this early in the game. Uh, Lego Star Wars, I'm not even going to fucking talk about that. Uh, Kojima Productions. Uh, Death Stranding with a boy Norman in there. Guys, I don't think it's an exclusive game. I highly doubt it's going to be exclusive. It's probably going to be on the PS4 and the PC. But it's still pretty big. After all that shit that happened with Kojima, to bring Kojima onto your stage with a Sony Entertainment like, like credit on there, that they're helping him with his game, that's big to bring the E3. Spider-Man game, according to Insomniac, they said it's exclusive. I find that kind of weird to have a Spider-Man game that is exclusive, but it looked baller. Now you guys know Insomniac, they've done the infamous games. They can do superhero games. So this game is going to be phenomenal. Again, another reason to purchase a PS4. Exclusive. Uh, Days Gone, uh, the gameplay looked okay, really nice scenery. Um, the horde didn't look very dangerous. You can see several times where the character just ran in and out of that horde. None of them touched him or anything. So I'm gonna have to see more of that and act to actually be interested. But overall, Sony had a wonderful showing. No doubt about it. They showed just as many games. They give you no breathing room for these games. And they announced that Crash Bandicoot is gonna get a remaster of the first three games. Now, I'm not too big on remasters, especially when, it, when it's with Activision. That kind of worries me a little bit, but still, Crash is huge. That Skylanders mess could have stayed off the stage, but of course, that's probably, you know, Activision that wanted them to do that. You know, whatever you gotta do to make get that remaster done. Now, if only we can get Spyro done, that would have been amazing. Give me the first three Spyro games remastered. Day one. But that's pretty much it for Sony's conference. There's not really much to say besides they showed great games, exclusive games, solidifying that their investment in their gamers and their platform is there. Sony is putting in that work and that money into their platform. Can't say the same about Microsoft. It is a fact that Sony did in fact win this E3. Now, like I said before, they both show great games, but Sony had the exclusives, and they had the game show. And this year they actually had a decent conference that was actually entertaining, which is not normal for Sony. So I think they learned their lesson. Very nice touch this year. But anyway guys, uh, pretty soon, Nintendo's will be starting, so I'll be going live right after this video is posted. So, I'll see you guys later, and again, in the comments area, please make sure you let me know what you think about the video quality, and if you prefer 1080p, 60 frames, or 4K, 30 frames. I'll see you guys later.